Hi everyone! The recent price action on Cardano has attracted a lot of new investors, and as the price increases, people are rightfully asking what would happen if Cardano didn't have Charles Hoskinson. Charles Hoskinson, the CEO and founder of IOG, Input Output Global, has been building something very unique in the crypto space, a coin that carries hope, vision, and an ever-growing community that rallies around the values of Cardano. So what would happen if the CEO Charles Hoskinson stepped down? Would Cardano survive or slowly die? If you've been asking yourself this question, this video is made for you. Hello everyone, my name is Jerome. I do videos about cryptocurrencies, trying to bring you unique content and perspective about the crypto market. My goal is not to make you rich financially, but richer emotionally and spiritually. I believe that this is the best way for you to become independent in this market and ultimately become financially empowered. So if you want to be part of this challenging yet very exciting journey, please consider subscribing by clicking on the red button below or joining the Telegram channel. Thank you guys. Today's video will be broken down into three parts. Part number one, why Charles is so important to Cardano. Part number two, what would happen to Cardano if Charles stepped down? And part number three, would it actually be a good or bad thing? Like always, stay until the end and make sure you don't miss the French quote of the day and your dose of wisdom. All right, so part number one, why Charles is so important to Cardano. Charles has been involved in Cardano for the past six years. Since he left Ethereum, he dedicated most of his time into building a new cryptocurrency called Cardano. At the time, most of the world had never heard of cryptocurrencies, yet he was gathering thoughts, dreams, and started building the team that would bring his vision to life. Very early on, Charles saw the challenges that cryptocurrencies would face 5, 10, 20 years down the line. He realized that creating value through a cryptocurrency was one thing, but being able to keep this value in the ecosystem through an efficient governance model was another key element that most of the people were missing and disregarding. By surrounding himself with the best, he managed to design with his team the three different layers that would operate Cardano. Using cryptography, mathematics, and game theory, they were able to create a system that was powerful, efficient, and elegant at the same time. But behind all of those technical things, Charles has been able to build something very few cryptocurrencies were able to create a vision, and a mission. One thing that people are neglecting so much right now is the importance of the governance model. In that regard, Cardano is not just like Ethereum, a system to run decentralized app in which when every time something goes wrong, people just part ways and fork the chain. Humans do disagree all the time, and Charles and his team have been designing Cardano not by assuming that everything works and by hiding the reality of human dynamics, but with a first principle approach that is looking at things from a very basic level of social interactions. People looking from the outside are just wondering why Cardano is so high, why it's so overvalued. Since 2017, I've been hearing that Cardano was just a vaporware. But those people are just looking at the surface. They see no product, hence thinks that it is worthless. By focusing on the product only, they are missing the important thing. Cardano is here to solve real life problems for the people that need it the most. It is encapsulating values, vision, and hope. And that is why people want to own and hold the coin. Charles has been the voice of Cardano. He understood the importance of sharing the vision very early on so that everyone could relate and get closer to one another as a community. So Cardano is meant to create value and maintain the value in the ecosystem. And if we have a system like this, it is thanks to Charles Hoskinson. He's been an undeniable figure of Cardano, but if the mission is right, product will follow. It's only a matter of time. All right, so part number two, what would happen to Cardano if he disappeared or stepped down? I know what you're thinking, and rightfully so. You've invested a large amount of money into Cardano and wonder if the token price would crash down if Charles stepped down. As hard as it is, 
I think we are missing the point if we are thinking like this. The reason Charles is spending so much time out there on social media is for us to focus on the vision, not the price. The goal is to make us realize the things that are possible with Cardano. It's not about just yield farming or making 10x on your investment. I can guarantee you that if Cardano succeed in its vision, we will all succeed financially. Money is the byproduct of growth, so don't look at things the other way around. Even if you become filthy rich, what is the point? Like my mother always say, you're only as good as what you leave behind you. If Charles were to step down, yes, it might cause a short-term sell-off. But if it scares you, you're probably in Cardano for the wrong reason. For me, holding cryptocurrencies is as much a philosophical trade than a financial decision. Cryptocurrencies were made to empower people emotionally, spiritually, financially, and Cardano is the only cryptocurrency out there that has such a deep philosophical aspect tied to it. That is why it is so powerful. As a community, if the only thing we are focusing on is price, we're just another EOS or Tron. I think we're missing part of the point if we think like this. It's not just about the price. I try as much as I can in my videos to bring educational content while approaching things from a very philosophical viewpoint. Cryptocurrencies have the power to bring values, philosophy, engineering, innovation, all together. And Cardano is encapsulating all of this perfectly, better than any other cryptocurrency. The reason Charles is interacting so much with us is to show us what's possible and open our eyes. The whole point of this, if you haven't figured it out yet, is for us, the community, to pick up Cardano when he steps down. Cardano is ours as much as it is his. I don't think that Charles is caring about the money. I actually believe that one day he could put part of his ADA back into the treasury because money is just not the point. The whole point is for us to pick up Cardano. Yes, products are being delayed, smart contracts are not there yet, deals are taking time to finalize. But let me tell you this. If we want something at the scale of our ambitions, we need to be patient. And if you take a step back and look at everything Cardano has shipped so far, it has been top-notch quality, far beyond anything that is in the market right now. Don't get distracted by DeFi project that just launched a new yield farming pool. Focus on the mission. The government deals are not something that you can pull out of your pocket in weeks or months. So be patient. It's only a matter of time. If you look left and right and you're convinced that there are still people believing in Cardano's vision and rallying towards its value just like you do, the rise is not over. Remember that Charles has not been alone in building this. Cardano wouldn't be possible without his partners, collaborators, his team, and all of the community across the world. Researchers, schools, developers, stakeholder operators, Twitter, and Reddit users. Cardano is not just Charles. It's all of us. And the people that will reap the biggest spiritual and financial rewards are the ones that are focusing on the long-term vision and execution. All right, part number three, is it actually a good or a bad thing? Sometimes having leaders stepping down is actually a good thing because it tells you that anything becomes possible. There's no one anymore telling you where to go and forcing you to go into a particular direction. I've seen many examples working at my hedge fund of companies doing so much better once CEO actually stepped down. What matters is if the CEO was able to create a vision strong enough that it pulls people forward towards a mission. As much as having leaders like Charles feels good because they show us the direction, it is not sustainable. In a company or in life, a good leader is not someone that controls you or tells you what to do or which way to go. A good leader is someone that inspires you to become a new leader. Someone that is showing you what you can do and encourages you to make your own vision a reality. So to all of you watching this video, 
The role of Cardano is to make you believe that you, as an individual, can make a difference. And it's going to give you the tool to be part of the system in which you can become a leader. We already have a voice through the Catalyst project, and our voice will only get amplified moving forward. The role of Cardano is not to make you rich and make 100x, it's to make you grow. Cardano will succeed if it can transition from a coin that will make you rich from a coin that can make a difference in your life. And remember that the ones that change the world are the ones crazy enough to think they can. For those that want to support my channel and my mission, please consider staking with my Cardano Republic stake pool, ticker CARE4. It's struggling a little bit to grow, so I would appreciate it so much if you considered staking with me. Thank you so much. All right, so let's end off with the French quote of the day from Saint-Exupéry. Fais de ta vie un rêve et d'un rêve une réalité. Make your life a dream and your dream a reality. So despite the criticism, continue to dream, to take part of the ecosystem. It's only a matter of time before people realize Cardano is here to stay. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. That was Jerome. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, bye-bye.